On June 15, 2023, just three days before Father's Day, a shocking crime took place in the peaceful village of New Richmond, Ohio. This incident left the community in shock and grief. The girl uh, running down the street, she like, her stepmother is killing everyone in her family. And what did the female say to you? And she says that her stepfather is killing everybody in her house. I did. I'm call I'm on the phone with them right now. Did you say how or what was happening? I asked, her, I asked her to get in the car with me and she said she couldn't leave her family. The prosecuting attorney, deeply disturbed by the gravity of the situation, requested an unprecedented bond amount for the accused, a staggering $20 million. The request, fueled by the disturbing nature of the crime, left everyone wondering about the motive behind this unthinkable act. Oh, well, join us as we unravel the details of the distressing case of Chad Doberman. On that Thursday in June 2023, the weather in New Richmond was cloudy, with temperatures around 75 degrees. Despite the seemingly normal suburban day, everything took a dark turn in the late afternoon. A teenage girl was spotted running down the road with a look of fear on her face, desperately crying out for help. Her main goal was to reach the safety of a nearby firehouse, seeking assistance for something unimaginable that had occurred. At exactly 4.18 p.m., a woman driving along Laura Lindale Road noticed the distressed girl and heard her chilling words. My stepfather is killing everyone. Concerned for the girl's safety, the woman immediately stopped her car to understand the situation. Realizing the gravity of the matter, she called 911 to report the girl's plea for help and the potential danger her family faced. The distressing message reached the deputies through their radio dispatch informing them that a man had started shooting and his own children were the targets of his violent actions. In the said Dorman family home, their 32-year-old Chad Christopher Dorman, his 34-year-old wife Laura Dorman, and their three young sons, 7-year-old Clayton, 4-year-old Hunter, and 3-year-old Chase. Additionally, Laura had a teenage daughter named Alexis from a previous relationship. The Dorman children were full of lively energy and close-knit, and enjoyed spending time together with their cherished dogs, playing baseball, and supporting each other. However, their story took a dark turn on June 15, 2023. Chad Dorman arrived home from work earlier than usual that day. He asked his wife, Laura, and their three sons to join him for a nap in the master bedroom. At the time, their daughter Alexis was in the family room watching television and everything seemed normal. After lying down with his family, Chad got up and went to the gun safe next to his bed. Inside, he found a Marlin Model HC-22 rifle, loaded it with bullets, and shockingly shot four-year-old Hunter twice. Laura, waking up to the gunshots, rushed to help her injured son and instructed her other sons to run to safety. The situation became alarming as Chad's actions were unexpected and violent. Alexis, upon hearing the gunshots, bravely went to the master bedroom. There, she saw Chad holding the rifle with a furious expression. Despite the danger, Alexis attempted to save her siblings. She ran after Clayton, telling him to keep running to safety. Chad followed them, shooting at Clayton in the backyard. Unfortunately, Clayton was hit by the bullets and fell down. Chad approached and shot him again from a close distance. Meanwhile, Alexis grabbed her other brother, Chase, and ran away, holding him close. As they neared the road, Chad caught up with them, pointing the rifle and instructing Alexis to let go of her brother. The rifle didn't fire because it was now empty. The third son escaped and ran to his mother who was outside helping Clayton. Alexis ran towards the nearby Monroe Township Fire Department for help, informing a passerby that her father was killing everyone. Back at the house, Chad approached Laura and the third boy, biting Laura in an attempt to take her son. In the struggle, Laura managed to grab the now-loaded rifle, but Chad shot her through the thumb. Sadly, during the chaos, Laura dropped her son, and Chad shot him in the head. After this horrific act, Chad sat on the side stoop of the house, watching as Laura desperately tried to save her children's lives. The police arrived at the crime scene after receiving multiple 911 calls from neighbors and passers-by. 
They apprehended Chad, who was behaving strangely, bringing an end to this tragic and disturbing incident. After committing the terrible act of killing his three sons, Chad showed a surprising level of awareness. He kept saying things like, I won't do anything, I'm sober, indicating that he knew what he had done and what was happening around him. Despite just taking the lives of his own children moments ago, he remained calm and showed no emotions. When the police arrived, Chad didn't resist or try to escape. Instead, he cooperated and allowed them to arrest him without any trouble. Surprisingly, he even expressed concern for his dog's safety, which was unexpected given his impulsive and terrible act. Chad's behavior raised many questions about his state of mind and motives. The police quickly arrested him and took him to Claremont Police Station for questioning. After ensuring the area was safe, deputies carefully checked the surroundings. It was incredibly sad to find three young victims who had been shot. They were in critical condition and unresponsive. The boy's mother, Laura, was also found outside the house with a gunshot wound to her hand, bravely injured while trying to protect her children. Recognizing the urgent need for help, they provided medical aid to the mother and rushed her to a nearby hospital for treatment. Sadly, by the time the police arrived, all three boys had already passed away. During the investigation that followed, detectives discovered the horrifying details. The entire community was shocked and saddened by this horrific incident. Witnesses expressed their disbelief and concern, highlighting the impact on the community. When brought in for questioning, Chad made shocking statements, admitting to the crimes and revealing disturbing thoughts he had been harboring for months. It's hard to imagine what could drive someone to do such a terrible thing. The investigation uncovered a chilling premeditation, with Chad confessing that he had been thinking about killing his own children since October 2022, tormented by these thoughts for almost eight months and sleep-deprived in the days leading up to the murders. Chad faced serious charges, including three counts of aggravated murder after admitting to shooting his three sons with a rifle. Detectives interviewed him, and he was then taken to Claremont County Jail, held without bond. The next day, on June 16, 2023, he appeared in Claremont County Municipal Court for a hearing to decide whether he'd be granted bond or not. The court took the case very seriously due to the severity of the charges against him. A week after the shooting, a grand jury in Claremont County added more charges to Chad's case, bringing the total to 21 charges. These included nine counts of aggravated murder, three counts of kidnapping, and four counts of felonious assault. The indictment stated that Chad had planned and thought about the murders beforehand, admitting to having planned them for several months. Chad pleaded not guilty to all the charges against him. His lawyer decided not to ask for a bond, possibly knowing it would be difficult to get him released. The judge, Victor Haddad, set a bond at $20 million cash for surety. Chad remained in jail until his trial because he was not granted bail. His next court appearance was scheduled for July 5, 2023, for a pre-trial hearing, and no further details were released by the police. After the tragic incident, where Chad allegedly shot and killed his three sons, one big question remains unanswered. Why did he do it? Authorities have not been able to determine a clear motive for the killings. Chad's father, Keith Thurman, expressed his struggle to understand how his son could commit such a terrible act, mentioning that Chad had likely hidden a lot of stuff from him. According to their neighbor, Richard Concanon, Chad's behavior before the shooting was concerning. Describing Chad as having a bad temper and constantly yelling at his wife and kids indicates that from the beginning, he was not treating his family well and had a troubled relationship with them. Looking into Chad Derman's background, Investigators examined public records to find possible clues, and they discovered that Chad had a minor criminal history, including a misdemeanor charge of criminal damage when he was 18, but the case was dismissed after restitution was paid. In 2010, he faced a domestic violence charge for allegedly choking his father, but the case was also dismissed when the witness didn't show up in court. Chad also had several traffic infractions, 
mostly related to speeding. Police had visited his house twice since 2020, aside from the recent incident, but no details about those visits were provided on the county auditor's website. However, in an important study, Dr. Philip Resnick, a well-known psychiatrist, conducted thorough research on 131 cases of parents killing their children. He identified five main reasons for this type of crime, which he called filicide. One reason is altruistic filicide, where parents believe their child is suffering too much and killing them is a way to end their suffering. Another reason is fatal maltreatment, where a child dies due to abuse or neglect, even if it wasn't the parent's intention to kill them. Chad Dorman fits into the category known as family annihilators, joining the unfortunate list of parents who commit such heinous acts, but his main motive behind it remains unknown. And there you have it, guys. If you want more videos like this, be sure to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for more amazing content. Thank you for joining us and see you next time.